Welcome, everybody. Welcome to October 2021's MicroStation uh, Coffee Corner. I usually say the same thing every month about, wow, I can't believe it's August to September, October. Hard to believe it's this late in the year. Uh, where in the world did 2021 and 2020, for that matter, go? Uh, 2021 and 2020, uh, 2020 and 2021 have been the longest two-year decade that I think I've seen. Uh, we certainly appreciate you guys' attendance today at today's session. Thanks for taking the time from your day. My name is Sean McGaffick from Bentley Systems. I'm your host for today's sist- uh, session. We're proud to have uh, Joel Arguelles and Zeke Lopez from our valued partners at Mesa. Um, for those that are in the southern uh, central part of the U.S., also known as Texas, uh, you may know uh, John Mora or Joel or Zeke from Mesa, as I believe all of them have had many years of experience with MicroStation and previous lives at places like the Texas DOT and others. Keep in mind, these guys are great resources for everybody that's on the call today. Keep them in mind. Uh, we'll let them tell you a little bit about themselves in a moment. Also joining me today is Tom Stogdell. Tom and I will handle any questions that come through. Uh, please type them in. Not only Tom, myself, and Zeke uh, will be answering the questions as they come in. We'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. We'll queue up a few uh, at the very end so that uh, we have some time for Q&A. Uh, for uh, Joel and, and uh, Zeke to answer some questions. Joel will be presenting for about 40 minutes or so, and then we'll discuss some of these questions. Uh, we'll be here afterwards answering questions, that kind of thing for everybody. Uh, if you need to leave during the session, don't worry. We understand you got things to do, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And you can review the recording after the fact. So the link that you got for uh, today, for the session right now, you can watch that next week if you want to, to, to watch, finish it up, or if there's something maybe went too fast or went too slow or something didn't quite make sense, watch it after uh, the fact. We have a lot of great information packed in today's session. The coffee corner for today, as you can see the title in front of you, MicroStation Batch Processing Using Scripts. This MicroStation coffee corner will focus on uh, MicroStation's ability to update graphics in a design file through a batch process using script files. So many of you might be familiar with the batch process. If you ever updated, uh, you know, DWG and DXF to DGN or even, even the two forms of DGN that we have out there, you may have run the batch process before. Joel will discuss specifically a couple things, talking about accessing the batch process utility using command scripts, command files, adding key-ins to those files, how to run the batch process, and then he'll give you some additional examples and some uses that you may not have thought of for batch process. So today's session is a great example for MicroStation Connect using it smarter rather than harder to complete your design projects. A little bit uh, about housekeeping here. A couple slides for you on that. First off, as you guys know, uh, we're using On24 to display the, the uh, deliver the coffee corner that we're doing today. All the windows are resizable. They move around. You can turn them on, turn them off via the uh, icon bar that you see on the slide. So if the presentation locks or the slides don't update or don't do as you expect, keep in mind those two left icons that you see there, media player and slides. You might just need to shut it off, turn it back on. There's icons there for contacting us, a speaker bio, so more than you want to know about any one of us, you can select there uh, and read all about it. And then there's some resources for the session. The slides, or excuse me, the coffee corner itself, as you guys know, is webcast via the internet. So keep that in mind. If it does lock up, something happens, don't worry. Hit F5, it'll update. If it doesn't update and it doesn't clear the problem, jump out of the session. You can join it again. And worst case, if none of that works, keep the link that's there. Go watch it after the fact. Um, After attending today's session, you'll be able to print and access your certificate of attendance. It's added to Bentley Learn in your learning history. So give it a little bit of time and uh, you'll be afterwards and you'll be able to print that uh, certificate of attendance. It'll be in your transcript as well. Now next, I wanna turn it over uh, to Joel. And so he can spend some time with us talking about batch processing. You don't have to listen to me anymore. So uh, let me turn it over to you, Joel. Thank you, Sean. Uh, You hit the nail right on the head. So. Today really is going to be focusing on on working smarter smarter using the uh, that batch process tool. Um, I guess before I get into the content for today, I do want to give some a little bit of background on myself and on on my company Mesa. 
Uh, so I started out um, my career working for Texas DOT uh, just around the time they were adopting the open roads technology. Um, talk, in talking to my boss and my coworkers, we were looking at setting that up. And so I really jumped at that opportunity to work in that 3D environment. And uh, my group and I ended up writing the DES 727 manual as a standard of practice for the state um, as they implemented Power Geopack SS3, SS4. Um, my boss and I, at the time and I traveled to each of the 25 tech districts and provided a three-day course on open roads. Um, but besides that, I also have experience working as a private consultant on municipal and county roadway work. Um, currently, I work as the a roadway design engineer for Mesa Integrated Solutions, producing plan specifications and estimates. PSNE will be looking at that a little bit today. Um, creating visualizations and producing training content on our open ORD or Open Roads Designer, a YouTube page. Um, I guess a little bit of information as well on my company. So Mesa is a company based here in Austin, Texas. Uh, we have several lines of work. We produce or we provide engineering support on PSE uh, packages, uh, stuff like roadway modeling, producing cross sections, and generating plan set sheets. Uh, we also do an engineering support. We have a support call line where our clients can kind of call us and talk to one of our experienced users uh, with any microstation or, or, or ORD related issues that they may be having at the moment. Um, it's always good to talk to a, a human. Uh, we also provide visualization services for larger projects uh, that sometimes have public involvement or have a construction sensitive issues. And then finally, uh, we also offer training services uh, such as Basic microstation drafting, we do open roads modeling and civil workspace setup and configuration. As a Bentley partner and qualified trainer, eh, for both microstation and open roads designer, we're happy. We're really happy to be working with you, Sean, um, and, and with Bentley as a whole to bring you this, uh, this coffee corner webinar. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our session today. And I do want to do this quick interactive poll. Um, so to everybody listening to us, uh, on your screen, you should be able to see a simple poll here asking if, who has used the batch process tool before. You can go ahead and click your answer in, and I should be able to see those answers come in. So I'll give you guys a second here to answer the, the batch process. Sean was mentioning, today we're going to be talking about this batch process tool. So it'll be stuff on how to run the batch process, writing some command scripts for turning levels on and off, attaching some references, uh, doing that sort of thing. Okay, so it looks like the numbers are coming in for the for the poll. It looks like about half half no half kind of used the batch process tool before and half hasn't. So that's that's a good sign. Um, so hopefully you will be able to get something useful from from today's coffee corner. Okay, so what is a batch process? A batch process, or it's, I guess, the batch process tool is a tool within MicroStation that utilizes a script um, or a command file filled with key ins to execute commands on a selection of DGN files. It's usually determined by the user. And then a script is just a text file full of key ins that usually execute either MicroStation commands, VBA macros, or MDL applications. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.